What's up? Welcome to Destination Station. What's going on YouTube? Uh, I got another video. I got a package um, actually yesterday. Uh, if you've seen the thumbnail of this video, you probably already know what it is. But uh, I was really, really excited to get my hands on one of these because I I've been wanting one of these. I, I, don't, I don't own any of the Tales from the Crypt um, seasons or volumes or whatever they are. But this is the. Um, this came out not too long ago. I can't remember what the release date was, but it was a. Uh, it was. Um, it had all of them in it. It was a look at little box set. Now, there's nothing different. I don't think as far as special features or <clears throat> or transfers or anything like that. It's just DVDs, just like the originals. If you bought them individually at Best Buy or, or wherever they had them on sale, um, I've always thought about picking them up. I always passed on it. They're always like in the uh, in the bins or whatever. But then I saw this coming out. I'm not sure if it's ever going to get a Blu-ray release, but <clears throat> I have uh, the Scream Factory's Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight and the Tales from the Crypt Bordello of Blood, and I had to have those in my collection, and I don't think I've really ever sat through the only episode I can remember whenever I was a child um, was the Santa Claus one. I'm not quite sure which episode that is, but that just always like stuck in my head um, because I guess being a kid and like anything that was like a killer Santa Claus like frightened me for some reason um, so I it was kind of like the same thing with like clowns when it came to it or something but um, but yeah that's the only episode I can really think of besides the films that I've actually probably sat through and watched um, so I'm really excited to have this in my collection I think it's gonna look good with everything else once I finish my whole setup here uh, I, I think I'm just gonna go through every single one of them I'll probably start reviewing this entire series from the first episode of season one to the last episode of season seven. And there is a lot of talent in this. If you've never seen the Tales from the Crypt uh, TV series, I think it originally premiered on HBO. Um, and then I think it was either TNT or USA back in the day that, that picked them up and it was like a, a, a edited version, a more cleaner version for family audiences and I, and I think that's what I really saw was probably the cleaner version because my parents never kept HBO or Skinamax or or anything like that um, my, my parents are very old school when it comes to media and and all that kind of stuff they they don't even care to have cable but anyways um, this right here is something I have been wanting in my collection for some time now I saw it on Amazon I, I've been waiting for it on, on bestbuy.com it's been like a hundred and thirty dollars one time I think it went all the way up to like a hundred and seventy nine I was like that's ridiculous I'm not paying that and then I saw it on Amazon it dropped in price to eighty one dollars and that was the lowest I have seen it and I have not seen this in store I did not see this in Best Buy store my, my Best Buy and the few the, there's like three Best Buys near me and uh, or in my hometown or whatever but it's they, none of them carried this in store at least whenever I went there they didn't so I you know that's what kept, kept discouraging me ordering offline but whenever I saw it on Amazon you know I put it in my shopping cart and then I, I saw it drop in price to $81 I said boom I'm picking it up so yeah I'm really 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 looking forward to seeing this um, I, I just I just I mean look at that I think M. Night Shyamalan is going to resurrect the, the uh, Tales from the Crypt a TV series I think it's gonna be for like TNT or something like that correct me if, I, if I'm wrong but I keep seeing that trailer and the Crypt Keeper looks slightly different he's kinda of got a black tone to him uh, more than this brownish color to him but it's um it doesn't seem like it's like individual episodes like these were it looks like it was like it's like today horror films or horror movies throughout the years and then like in between segments or or the the um, what do you call it? The commercials or whatever. Like, we're, like, like for instance, we would watch uh, The Shining, and then in between, like, it, when it gets ready to cut the commercial, it will cut back to him or something, or, or watching it, it's going to open up. Kind of like, uh, what was that on TNT years ago? Um, uh, Joe Bob Riggs, horror, whatever, the guy that would sit out in front of his trailer and drink beer and talk about horror movies. Um, <laughs> I, I guess it's gonna be something like that, you know, like like Friday nights, like horror movies came on, and he would just sit there and talk and joke with you around a campfire or whatever. But uh, 
but yeah, I, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. I hope they, I hope they do stick with making individual episodes. That would be amazing. So yeah, I mean, you got Robert Zemeckis, uh, you got Joel Silver, Richard Donner, Frank Darabont, you got Arnold Schwarzenegger, you got Brad Pitt, Tom Hanks, Whoopi Goldberg, Daniel Craig, uh, Demi Moore. I mean, there. I mean, the list goes on and on on how much talent is in all of these, um, all these, uh, this every season of this. So you know, this was back before they were in their prime. Some of them probably were still were in their prime when some of this was made. Not quite sure what year each episode was made, but all right. Enough of me talking. Let me go and unbox this. I'm going to. And now. Correct me if I'm wrong about this as well. Let's go ahead and get this off. Here's the front. Side, that's pretty cool. Here's the back with all the seasons on it. Now if you already own all of these seasons already on DVD, I don't see a reason to buy the box set unless you can find a, you know, it just kind of holds it all together pretty nicely. That's why I bought this because I don't own any of them. But if you already own them, I don't really see a reason why you would buy this unless you just didn't have it in your collection yet. So, but also, I want to say, like, I'm going to go through each disc. I want to say that um, they weren't in, what are, the, what are these called? The, um, just these regular DVD cases. I want to say it had, like, the flap. I could be wrong. It kind of folded out a little bit. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say that's how the other ones are. But these are all in just, you know, um, in just regular DVD cases. And then here's, uh, you know, you got episode, you got disc one is the man who, who was death, uh, and all through the house. I think that's the one. See the Santa Claus? That used to scare the living shit out of me. I don't know why, just look at that dude's face. Would you want that coming up on your doorstep or coming down your chimney? Fuck no. Fuck a bunch of that shit. That's some biggity bullshit. I don't even know if I want to watch that episode. It might not even be any good. I don't know. You know, I was young. Shit scares you when you're young. When you get older, nothing fucking scares you. You're, you're searching for things to scare you. That's how rare it is. Uh, three is Only Sin Deep. Four is Lover Come Hack to Me. Five is collection completed, and or am I reading that right? What? Yeah, six is collection completed. Okay. Um, introduction by the Crypt Keeper. Here's some special features. If you want to pause them, I'm gonna go through these discs pretty quickly. There's the front, number one, and then I'll try to keep that glare off, guys. And then we'll go to number two. Number two. I don't know how many unboxings there are online. I think I'll try to look it up and there's only like one. Which I don't know how limited this little box set is, but um I'm just glad to have this in my collection. I don't care. You know, DVDs did so much better when it came to box sets and stuff like that, like with the Nightmare on Elm Street. And just, I mean, like some of the Blu-ray releases of collections just aren't as good, you know. Like, they just kind of look cheaply thrown together, but, you know, I love stuff like this. See, you see Demi Moore right there. Uh, who else is on here? Patricia Arquette. Um, some fucked up little E.T. thing. <laughs> Here's the uh, disc one. Uh, is Dead Right. Um, the Switch. Cutting Cards. Till Death. Three's a Crowd. The Things from the Grave. Disc two is The Sacrifice. For Crying Out Loud. Four-Sided Triangle. The Ventriloquist Dummy. Judy, You're Not Yourself Today. Fitting punishment and disc three is Cor Corman's calamity, uh, lower birth, uh, mute witness to murder, television terror, my brother's keeper, the secret. So yeah. 
Let me know if um, if you're a big Tales from the Crypt fan. Let me know which season is the best and which episode is the best. Which one do y'all recommend the most? I'm going to really just go in order, but at least give me something down below to know what I'm getting myself into. Like, like what's the best and what's the worst if you know this series really well? Um, when it comes to the movies, I like Demon Knight better than Bordello of Blood. I like what they tried to do with Bordello of Blood, but it just didn't... It just didn't work. The comedy, I don't really feel like it worked in that. Um, a lot of stuff felt forced and, you know, kind of raunchy and not as cool as Demon Knight. Demon Knight seemed like it was well, more well put together. Especially Billy Zane as the head demon. Like, that that was the shit. That was, that was badass. I, I mean, they don't make horror movies like that anymore. And my wife thinks they're all cheesy. She is not a horror movie fan. Either they really scare her or she thinks they're just really stupid. Like there's been some like really scary films that she's just laughed at and she's just she ruins it sometimes. Sometimes I have to watch them by myself because she'll just sit there and she'll just be like ah, and she'll make noises and she'll be like, This is ridiculous, this is so stupid. Oh god, blah blah blah. You know. You know, so anyways. Um, I'm always looking for inspiration for uh, for writing. Um, that's what I do in my spare time. So uh, here's a uh, season season three. Who's on the back of this one? Uh, I don't really see any familiar faces. Oh, it's got that dude. Uh, wh what's his name? It says Whoopi Girl Goldberg is in one of these, but she's not on the back of this cover. I know his face, but I can't think of. Isn't that the dude from like Showgirls, and he was the villain on the Flintstone movie or something? I can't think of. His, is it Gallagher or something? I can't remember. Anyways, this one is Love to Death, Carrie and Death, The Trap, Abra Cadabra, uh, Top Billing, uh, Dead Weight. Uh, this too is Reluctant Vampire, um, Easel Kill Ya, uh, Undertaken Pollard. Uh, morning mess split second deadline and this three only has like two on there uh, Spoiled and yellow. What the you see the Crypt Keeper right there? Kind of shit is that? All right I'm pretty sure this is all the uncensored ones that were probably originally aired on um, On HBO so all this is really new to me that's why I'm really excited to get into these stories because, I, I mean, plus if they resurrect this uh, TV series back and M. Night Shyamalan does it, man, I hope he just, I hope he just does it right. Seriously. But, uh, these are all kind of like comic books. I guess this is how their original comics looked. I think they were comics. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. But, uh, yeah, like, they line up like that and they look like comics or whatever. Anyways, uh, this is the fourth season I see, uh, I don't see anybody on this that's recognizable. Oh, and here I do. I like how just, I mean, they're playing, but they're not too plain, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the discs itself. Uh, Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci's in, in uh, on disc two, I guess. I don't know which episode. But, uh, yeah, on disc one you get none but the lonely heart. Uh, this will kill you on a dead man's chest, seance, beauty rest, what's cooking, the new arrival, showdown, king of the road, maniac at large, split personality, strung along, this three you get werewolf, concerto, and uh, there's just one more curiosity killed. So, so yeah. But yeah, Joe Pesci is in this. Ain't that, that's crazy. I used to love that guy. What happened to that guy? I think. Like, I saw, like, some, like, direct-to-DVD, straight-to-DVD movies uh, with him that weren't too bad. Um, but, you know, like, get back to, like, the Goodfellas and stuff like that. Even, like, Home Alone he was amazing in. But um, I think Martin Scorsese, and this is uh, totally off the subject, Martin Scorsese is making a Netflix movie. I think it's called, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, I, I can't remember right now. But it's like a gangster film. It's supposed to have like Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, you know, the whole uh, big gangster cast from, from back in the day. And I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait to see that. Anything Martin Scorsese does. Goodfellas and 
Casino and um, Wolf of Wall Street is like one of my all-time favorite movies. I don't care what anyone says, the movie, you could watch it over and over. It's just a party film and it, it's, it's amazing. I just, I've probably seen it 10 times since it's been out. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, it looks like Martin, uh, Billy Zane is in one of these. Um, so you got, uh, what's this guy's name? Um, man, my mind's going blank. The dude from Full House, uh, Stamos, um, whatever his first name is. Anyways. I think that's the only familiar face I see on here. In here, here's the discs. It's not much to the discs. That's why I'm not really showing the discs. So, but uh, disc one, you get Death of Some Salesman, uh, As Ye So, uh, Forever, and and Burgress and Burgress, uh, Food for Thought, People Who Live in Brass Hearses, uh, Two for the Show. House of Horror, Well Cooked Hams, Creep Course, Came the Dawn, uh, Oil's Well That Ends Well, uh, Halfway Horrible, Till Death Do We Part. And look, Lou Diamond Phillips. I mean, come on, man. I mean, like, the talent goes on and on throughout this entire series. It, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. Lou Diamond Phillips is badass. Like, he used to be badass. Like, talking about, like, Young Guns, and then, like, he was, like, even if you've seen that Mark Wahlberg movie, um, what is it, uh, The Big Hit, that is one of my all-time favorite, like, guilty pleasure type movies. It's, it's such a fun action comedy. All right, I'm back. I had to check on my son, but, like, what I was saying was, like, The Big Hit, like, if you haven't seen that movie, it's got Lou Diamond Phillips, uh, it's got, like, Book and Woodbine, um, it's got Mark Wahlberg, obviously, Christina Applegate, just a really fun action comedy, just a perfect blend of action comedy, and I, some people don't like it. But I like it. I think it's fun. It's just about a bunch of hitmen and uh, trying to pull off a, a, a job, and uh, one of the hitmen um, uh, turns on them or whatever. And then there's like a big fight scene at the end. It, it's just really cool. It's kind of got like a John Woo fight style to it. So if you haven't checked out the big hit, I highly, highly recommend it. If you like action comedy, like th that movie's just to me, it's just a really fun film. All right, complete. Sixth season. Ha! Who's on this one? Uh, you got John Lithgow. Uh, he looks familiar, but I don't know his name. Um, but yeah. Go ahead and open this. These discs are green. Um, let's see who's on here. You got the uh, Let the Punishment Fit the Crime, Only Skin Deep, Whirlpool, Operation Friendship. Revenge is the Nuts, The Bride, The Bribe, The Pit, The Assassin, Stared in Horror, In the Groove, Surprise Party, Doctor of Horror. I'm trying to see if I've seen it. It looks like Corey Feldman's in one of these episodes. Hmm. Um, Comes the Dawn, 99 and 44, 100% pure horror, whatever. Uh, you, you Murderer. Yeah, I don't... I don't know who they are, but yeah, it looks like Corey, Corey Feldman's even in this, so yeah, so so that's two actors so far that I've seen that's actually in the movies, you know, you got Billy Zane that's in Demon Knight, and you got Corey Feldman that's in Bordello of Blood, you know, and I know why they put Corey Feldman in there, because it's a vampire movie, it kind of, you know, throws you back to the Lost Boys or something like that, and, you know, but I just felt like that movie had so much more potential, it just wasn't well executed especially like the second half I just felt like it was kind of like thrown together there was a lot of good ideas but it just wasn't as good as the first one I know they were wanting to make uh, here's a fun little fact they were wanting to make um, from dusk till dawn Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez's uh, from dusk till dawn they were wanting to make that the um, third uh, uh, film for Tales from the Crypt that you know they just wanted to put like Tales you know the Crypt Keeper at the beginning and I guess that key that's in both of them was gonna play a part um, but it didn't 
It didn't. If you, if you, I think it was on behind the scenes of one of the other Tales from the Crypt, but they didn't want to, they couldn't get the rights or, or they couldn't sign on with them or whatever. You know, I guess Quentin Tarantino and Rob Rodriguez want to do their own thing. But yeah, that, that was supposed to be um, part of the, the trilogy of the Tales from the Crypt films. And once that didn't, I think they picked up some voodoo movie. I can't remember the name of it, but I just came across that like a couple years ago. I didn't even know this movie was made. And it was a Tales from the Crypt movie, but it was like a, it was like a uh, thrown together Tales from the Crypt movie. Like they made the movie, they decided to grab the movie, and then just put like some cheap, you know, Crypt Keeper at the beginning, at the end, and stuff like that. It didn't even look like the the original Crypt Keeper a little bit. It looked very cheap puppet puppetry or whatever, you, if that's the right word I'm using. Like, like it just didn't even look like the right the right Crypt Keeper or whatever. But. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's just a fun little fact about From Dust Till Dawn and Tales from the Crypt. Anyways, here's um, the seventh season. This is one that has uh, uh, Daniel Craig, James Bond, and it looks like, is that Ewan McGregor? Yep, that's Ewan McGregor. That's awesome. Orange discs on this one. Um, you got on this one, Fatal Caper, Last Respects. A Slight Case of Murder, Escape, Horror in the Night, Cold War, The Kidnapper, Report from the Grave, Smoke Rings, About Face, Confession, Ear Today, Gone Tomorrow. What the hell? You see that picture? Um, The Third Pig. Look at that. You got Daniel Craig right there. What is he, a vampire or something? I don't know. Don't spoil anything. Just let me know which one's the best. Which one is there? Can I just jump to any of them, or or what? I mean, or do I need to watch them in order? Or does it even matter? I doubt it matters because they're all kind of like they're standalone episodes. I don't think they really connect in any way. Um, but yeah, I'm highly, highly looking forward to checking all of these out. So very happy I have this in my collection. This is going to be an amazing amazing time <laughs> that's all i gotta say and halloween's coming up and yeah perfect perfect time probably gonna start on way before halloween though but yep that is the complete series of tales from the crypt so glad i have this in my collection i feel like a little kid right now not sure if anyone else had this in their collection but uh if you want it it's on amazon um Movie Phil. Uh, if you want it, it's on Amazon for like $81.99. I think it's still that price right now. Um, but after I purchased it, check out eBay because I don't know if they're used or what, but um, somebody was saying that you could find them for like 45 or 50 bucks, and that is a steal for all that for 45 or 50 bucks. I wish I would have done that before I went to Amazon, but I'm an Amazon Prime member and I don't know. I just kind of stick with Amazon and everything. So. That's it guys. That's all I got for you today that came in the mail. I got another box coming to arrive today. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come in. When it does, I'm going to talk to y'all about it. And um, I want to do a thing. I want to show more recognition to um, hidden gems. Like hidden horror, horror movies that a lot of people, you know, hasn't seen. Like, like that they didn't give a lot of recognition to. That were actually decently really good. Uh, and maybe not just horror movies, maybe I'll do like action movies or just movies in general, but uh, there's a lot of horror movies that like has stuck out to me that I'm like, wow, this should have got a lot more recognition than it did. Hold on. My son. Alright, I'm back. It's like, when it comes to my son, um, my wife, she's been off work, she's a teacher, so she's been off work and she holds the baby like 24-7, and I try to tell her, you might not want to do that, but you know, if, if you've been following me and watched some of my old videos, you know that after he was born, he had surgery and stuff like that. So she just really did not want to put him down and just held him. She's been off work all this time and she just really, really grown attached. And actually today was her first day back to work. And so, yeah, so I work overnight. So I'm here with the baby during the day and she's working during the day. So, yeah. If I put the baby down for two seconds to, to make a drink or to do something like this or anything like that, uh, he's ready to be picked up. So anyways, that's it.
that's all I got for you right now. Uh, there might be another video up later if that package arrives. So uh, be on the lookout for that. But like I said, yeah, I just want to give uh, more recognition to uh, hidden gems, especially to horror movies. So, um, yeah. If there's any movies that you recommend, uh, put them in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them. And then I'll, 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 I'll get them, I'll watch them, and I'll do a review for you guys. But, uh, but yeah, this one that's coming up, I'm... I'm Probably a lot of y'all that are collectors probably know about this movie, but a lot of y'all that that um, that aren't collectors probably don't know much about it. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys next time. This is Destination Station, your number one station in the nation. I'm Destin, and I will see you later today or tomorrow, or I'll see you when I see you. Peace.